Yeah. Hello, all you hardcores. Welcome back to part two. We're joined by Andy, who's not from Aberdeen. I'm back. <laughs> Aberdeen, Andy, who's not from Aberdeen. <laughs> my old man used to support Aberdeen Football Club, though, so that's maybe. <laughs> so you're only linked with Aberdeen. Is that what connection now? Fergie was manager. Who was manager? Sorry, Fergie. Yeah, now nah, he was a manager there, wasn't he? For quite a... he did well with Aberdeen. Had them in Europe and everything. Yeah. My memory's going there. Did we did we speak about that squealer Sam Jones putting Adrian? Yeah, up? yeah he's annoying. Sam Jones, you annoy me lately. You've got, your tongue, you've got your tongue up that many arseholes. You, you should have shares in TCP and Listerine, you're wrong. <laughs> Can I just take a shout out to a guy who's going to watch he's going to watch the channel, a guy called Hassan, you just uh, who, who helped me with my wife's uh, internet. Yeah. See, I've got internet here. I've got a new internet deal. He gave me a good deal on this. I told him about the channel, so he's going to watch it. He's going to look out for Aberdeen Andy. <laughs> Aberdeen Andy was not even from Aberdeen. <laughs> what are you doing, Andy? Perth Andy's not got the same ring, is it? Okay. <laughs> uh, Dylan White, he's like the forgotten man, isn't he? That's all right, though. Eh? Yeah, so he, he's making a lot of noise and this and that. He's trying to get into Saudi mix. What do you see happening with his career? Do you see him getting Joshua fight? No, well, there's a possibility, isn't it? But, um, Will they give him that fight? I don't know if Eddie Hills will. I think they'll give him it because they've already had that bit of beef before, aren't they? And it's an easy one for a minute. Should be an easy win for Joshua, that, anyway. You'd have thought so, wouldn't you? Dylan I mean, won back number eight in the world on box wreck. How can that be? Shambles, eh? Shambles. He's got a win over Joseph Parker. That was lucky, though, wasn't it? I mean, he dropped on my head, but. And then uh, he was hanging on for life at the end, wasn't he? He was nearly out. Some refs might have stopped that at the end, uh, just before the end of the fight. You reckon? What do you reckon is going to happen with Derek Chisora? I hope he retires. But I can see him having a fight in Saudi on one of the big undercards. I can see that happening now. Maybe with Jarrell Miller or somebody. This is how I look at it, right? Derek Chisora... I think he's a disaster waiting to happen. I think he'll yeah. have to slab him. Have you ever heard him talk lately? Oh, I well then. Sounds like he's talking underwater, doesn't he? Yeah. Sounds like the man from Atlantis. <laughs> sounds like he's gargling with mud. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, okay. Now, the heavyweight division at the moment, Andy, right? Oh, sake, we've got at the top, haven't we? And then it's just a case of Fury, Joshua Parker. After that top four there, we're at rest. It's, it's a bit in the wilderness. Other who else is there? Hergovic, maybe, but... He's, he seems to be in a bout for a long time, but he's just never really... He should have probably had a title shot a long time ago, but the title's been stagnated by the stuff that's going on. Um, I think he did. He take step aside money at one point. Oh, am I right in saying that, Hergovic? Yeah, they'll have had some of that step aside. Them Sowerlands love a bit of step aside, don't they? Isn't that right, Callum? Yeah. You weasel. Callum Montana. No, oh, no. Yeah. Talking about big John Fury talking about the hard roll, and there's Callum <laughs> there talking about on the tarmac. Have you heard him <laughs> on the tarmac? Is that what they say? Is that what them uh, Tottenham fans say? We'll have it on the tarmac, <laughs> <laughs> on the Asheville. <laughs> Joe Joyce, where do we see him going now, Andy? Maybe he'll fight Joshua eh? or Chisora. I don't know. I think Joe Joyce has finished me, do you? Uh, I'll give him one more roll of the dice and see how he goes, but he's uh, he's not getting any quicker, is he? I like Joe Joyce as well, eh? I, I don't know. He's all right. Stiff. Big stiff pinching money. <laughs> I think he was deceptive. 
he's deceptively effective now. I, I don't know if that's just because he's big and strong, and but his invincibility is going to go on now, isn't it? Since Zhang sparked him. Oh, tell me about it, mate. Absolutely, tell me about it. Uh, this is how I look at it, mate. Right? They've all got to get a move on with their careers, aren't they? Because it's stagnating this division now. They're supposed to be turning it on its head. This these Saudis out there, Turkey Al Sheikh, they're supposed to be turning boxes on its head. Well, it's not been turned on its head, has it? Really? You know. We'll see what happens. See what happens this year. Eh? Maybe it's it's the last number of years. When Eddie Hills is to blame a bit for that, parking folk up and dodging folk and blaming everybody else but himself. Yeah. He's guilty of a lot of that, and then that the move to the zone probably hindered things as well, didn't it? And then the, the pandemic and all, everything was just hindering things. Everything stagnated, wading through treacle. That's what it's been like, isn't it? Oh, fucking tell me about it, mate. Tell me about it. It's uh, it's going to be our odd moving forward. What about Philip Ergovic? Where do you see him going next? He's fighting Dubois, isn't he? Yeah. Who do you think will win that one? Well, I think Ergovic will do him personally. I think he's got so much mm -hmm. experience. Going to fight him at first to first of June, isn't he? In uh, four week. Dubois got good power, isn't he? But Ergovic has got a good chin, so he might not be with dental. Zan couldn't do with dental, could he? Couldn't then. Who? Ergovic. I thought Zan beat him, but oh, Zan won, but he got robbed. Yeah. You know, looking at these here, right? These these guys that are in, are in the pinching a living. Ergovic is pinching a living in that top ten. Absolutely pinching it. Well that's what you're up against, aren't you, mate? Yep. It's all uh number fudging in it with who's who's rated where, isn't it? Nah, it's it's murky, isn't it? Murky, it's no, it's not the way it should be. No, no. Uh, all right then. There's one for you. Does Yui win a world title? Yes or no? Hmm. I'd like him to win a world title, but it depends what happens with the titles going forward, isn't it? Mm. Um, I watched his fight. It's come back, so it's kind of knocking the dust off it. Eh? So shaking off the ring rust. So they're talking about him fighting quite often going forward. Is it every month or every couple of months? So I think he needs to do that and see where he is. But I'd like to see him do well and win a title. Oh, yeah. I think skill-wise, skill -wise, he's got all the skills, isn't he? But um, he just needs to be active. Was it three years he's been out? It's quite a long time, isn't it? Uh, I don't think it's three years. I know I've heard people say, oh, he's been out three years, but... I don't think that's true. It's been two and a half, maybe. Uh, he's been here two years, seven months. No, two years, six months. Ah, since he fought him on. Two and a half year. Yeah. So, uh, nah, we'll see where he goes in the next few fights. It's probably too early to tell, isn't it? If he gets the right fights, yeah, yeah, knock yeah. some, knock some more ring rust off, and then. Test some cell at a higher level, we'll see where he's at. I wouldn't write him off, but um, I don't think we can speculate at the moment until he does a bit more. He's got the size and the skill set, hasn't he? Listen, mate, this is how I look at it, right? He's got the skill set, but we're going to see, aren't we? But I, I hope he does well. What do you mm -hmm. think to that... Uh... Frank Sanchez. I don't have actually seen many of his fights. Eh? I think I've only seen one fight of his. Well, he's 32 next birthday. He's a Cuban. He's 24 and 0, 17 on Button Moon. 71% KO ratio. He's got a good record, but I think he needs to be get, getting a bit of a move on now, doesn't he, really? Mm. Who's he got advising him, this Frank Sanchez guy, right? <laughs> What what what's his management team doing? I don't hear him in any storylines. He's not in mix for anything. He's I don't think he's uh, gonna have a an easy night against Caballel. 
I think that's a pick and fight, that, isn't it? Caballero. Uh, he's a decent fighter, Caballero. He did that. Uh, the big Russian guy, didn't he? Uh, what was his name? Mermit. Mermidoff or something. Yeah. Ah, did him, didn't he? Yeah. So you can't kind of write Caballero off. He's uh, he's also got a bit of hunger about him. I mean, he's coming coming off that win. He's probably uh, in a good place, isn't he? Well, they're both 24 and now. That's a good fight, then, not it? Yeah, they're both 24 and now. One's got 16 knockouts, Caballero. Other one's got 17, Frank Sanchez. Caballero's 31, Sanchez is 31. So uh, probably the most evenly matched fight that the matchmakers have ever made. If I were at Dennis, and I said, look at this one here, Dennis, and they want to fight, you'd be creaming in your pants, wouldn't you? Hey? Eh? <laughs> because they're throwing all that money around, they're all like, yes, turkey, no turkey, three bags full turkey with cranberry sauce. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When's that fight on then? Is that on one of the is that on the Fury undercard? Yeah, it's on the uh I think it's on the Fury undercard, yeah. Ah, uh, forward. That's a good one then. I want to want to watch that one. I mean they've got That's, Uptech uh... Fury, Cordina, Anthony Caracy, J. O. and Marius Braders, Mark Chamberlain, Joshua, Ole, Sammy, Why Is that Anthony Joshua? No, it in somebody else. Uh, Sergey Kovalev against Safa. Isaac Lowe. He's always there or thereabouts, isn't it? Isaac, have you had a bath? Lowe. Uh, <laughs> that's it, really. All the rest of it. Moza for Tome. He were going to beat Mike Tyson's record. He's nowhere near it now, is he? Yeah. If, if the pace of fights doesn't happen as quick as it did back when Tyson was coming, starting out, is it? It's, everyone's just so much slower now, isn't it? And all the guys like Caballero and Frank Sanchez, 31 32, they need to get a move on it. Eh? Well, the best need... years are passing them by. Eh? They need to do something, mate. Right? That's my opinion. Uh, Paul Butler fights for a world title. Aye. Yeah, in a couple of weeks uh, in Ellesmere Port. So, Bantamweight IBO title. So, I hope Paul Butler wins that. Yep. Do. Uh, yeah, thank you. Who's your top five pound for pound, Andy? Uh, it's got to be Usyk, Crawford, and all you better be Ev. Maybe Jai Opetea, possibly. Yeah, you think he's possibly Andy? He's he's coming on, and he's 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 a live live wire. Him, I think he could be. Uh, the next next six months to a year, you'll probably see him doing big things. Then. Yeah, yeah. What do you think to book Ennis? Ah, he's decent enough, isn't he? I don't think he beats Crawford, though. Don't you? I think Crawford's at the top of his game. Though he's, what is he, mid-30s Crawford now, so he might get old overnight eh, at some point, but he always comes out in shape, Crawford, though. Eh? He's always puts on a good show. Good performance. What do you think to uh, the current state of play with Crusher Ben calling out Ryan Garcia? Do you think he's, su he's suicidal? Nah, Crusher Ben shouldn't be calling anybody out until he gets his title, his um, license back or gets cleared. He needs to sort all that out instead of going about showing who, what he's going to do or who he's going to do. He needs to, he needs to get his license back, draw a line under whatever's happened. He, need, he needs to do some of that. Where does it leave Chris Eubank Jr., Andy? He's in the wilderness now, isn't he? There's talk of him fighting Crawford at one point, but is that just name association? Or... Yeah, he keeps tagging his centre to these world champions then ends up with a, a pub doorman, doesn't he? You yeah, know? that's it. He's, I, I had high hopes for him after he, after he came back and beat Liam Smith. Um, yeah. But, you know, I thought he maybe got a bit of momentum now, but his career's stagnated so many times and, does it? An active fight. An active fighter is a good fighter, and he's uh, and he's not been active. So any momentum he seems to get, it just it gets wasted, doesn't it? There's always another big spell of time before his next fight. You know, there's no there's no uh, continuity in his career, is it? No, well, it's a shame, isn't it, mate? Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, anything you want to add, Andy? Um, I don't think so. Um, Drug testing, Andy, what's the answer? We've gone over this many times, but this Conor Ben thing, it's put everybody on, on back foot on it. Do you think it's a good for the sport or bad what's going on? Terrible. That's a big smite on the sport. It needs to be a... The board need to sit down, maybe even with other boards from other countries, and there should be a probably a worldwide standardised procedure of what happens. And if this happens, if X, Y or Z happens, there's different punishments. and They should all be the same worldwide, I would say. And then uh, people know where they stand. But for people getting in, there's inconsistencies with one guy getting a four-year ban and another guy getting a two-year ban, dated ban. And it's just it's just wrong. Eh? The whole thing stinks. The whole thing needs cleaning up. The same uh, as I mentioned earlier on about referees and judges. They should be monitored. And if they've got a licence for judging or whatever, if, if there's a horrendous result, it needs to look back at, assessed, where have they gone wrong? Why have they gone wrong? And if they've got a licence, they should get points on their licence. And after, say, three bad performances or two bad performances, they're struck off for six months a year, get retrained. or Did they actually get any kind of training? I don't know what goes on with people who are judging fights because... You're messing with folks' livelihoods, you know. You're taking money out of guys' pockets. If if some guys, like, like uh, what's his name, Nick Ball, for me, what he should be a world champion now. So he's been, he should be, his next fight should be a title defence, getting good money for it. He's no, is he? He's not getting a title defence. He's uh, he's just challenger again, isn't he? So he'll be getting the short end of the stick the next time he challenges for a title, where he should be the champion, getting, champ, getting the king's ransom first. Uh, defendant's title the whole thing's wrong judges should, should be held to account for that what do you think that's the way I see it judges and referees alike Are you still there, Russ? Otherwise, we'll just look forward to what's coming up. But um, certainly my money's on Usyk for the Fury Usyk fight. And that's no because of dislike. Fury is a fighter in any way, shape, or form. It's just, uh, I think Usyk's going to beat him. Normally, when I watch any fight, I don't really mind two wins. I've got a kind of neutral standpoint on that. Um, as long as they get a good fight and a fair result, and they both go home safe. So that's kind of my opinion on that. Are you there, Russ? I hope I've no bored them to sleep. <laughs> anyway, the channel looks like it's going places where Kent coming back. Enjoyed Michael the other day from Wolverhampton. Uh, he's a bit of character. Seems to fight himself. I think does MMA or something. Um... I think Russ said earlier that Alec from Scotland who stays I think he's about 80 miles from me he's in Abbey Moor um, good to see him back on again this week and Jerry was uh, Magnum Tash he's a good lad as well eh? that's one thing with the channel that runs runs through it is truth everybody's got honest opinions on things That's the way it should be. Instead of all the other channels that you see where they're creating narratives to suit who's letting them interview them. I think it must be a way of walking the dog. Are you giving the dog a walk, Russ?
still on the juice, no more alcohol for a for a while. Maybe give it another month, see how I get on. See how I get on going to the gym, get into some kind of routine. Concentrate on fitness instead of alcohol. Take a leaf out of Russ's book. Mm -hmm. It's going on dessert with us, Oh, well, he's maybe away, I think. But anyway, I'd just like to thank everybody for uh, watching and listening and all the kind comments you put. And, you uh, come comments. Back, like all the comments, yeah. everybody puts on they don't we, mate? Cause yeah, they... We do, right? Uh... Are you there? Of course I'm here, mate. Yeah, we're just looking at my questions. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, and... <laughs> are we going to get this undisputed, mate? Because I want to lump on. Is it going to happen, mate? Yes or no? I hope it does. Uh, but... Like I said, I'll believe it when I see the way in. You know what I mean? Do you think the the playing mind games and it's not working with Usa Candy? Aye, that's a definite. Do you think? No way of getting inside his head. He's, he doesn't speak he's, English to start with, does he? No, he's Iron Man. I think he speaks better English than he lets on, but on. I, I think it's a good it's a good act he plays that he just doesn't understand. It's, but it's expressed nothing to rejoicing with him again, Usek. Um, I think you sick will beat Joe Joyce quite comfortably, I would think. Who no. would you blame for Joe Joyce's demise? Do you think he'll regret not sending that letter to the WBO when he were mandatory, you know, for world title? Do you think he'll regret that being parked up? Sam Jones has fought that, wasn't it? There you go, oh, Sam he... Jones, eh? Mr. BJ himself. Hey, it's you... like who... See what happens yeah. is, Andy. These people, they tiptoe into boxing. I've seen it many, many times when we're at Dennis's. And they come in office. I'm not going to say the names on some of them because they're still active. I say, what do you think, Dennis? So they're not going to know. They think they can tiptoe in, put their arm around the fighter and think they know what they're on with. What happened with Sam Jones? He got mesmerised, didn't he, by Bricktop and Eddie Hills and he wanted to, 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 to be in with both of them, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? And what What happened? The only person Sam Jones was managing was himself, wasn't it? That's all. I see more of Sam Jones than I do with my own kids. You know, I turn YouTube on. He's everywhere, isn't he? Yeah, what has he a rash. done? All he's doing is waffling. Isn't that right, Sam? All you're doing is waffling in these young, lad, young lads' ears because they see you all over social media and they think that you've got 
the big two's, you know, ear holes. But really, if you had a done, you'd have had your title shot with Joyce, wouldn't it? And your little operation, yep. but it hadn't. All we're hearing is a load of raw waffle. That's how I look at it, you know. Uh, moving on to Fabio Wardley and it's Big Freeze. I think it, it's Big Freeze can count himself very unlucky, do you? I think so, yeah. Especially in, in, in reflection, uh, I think Big Freeze boxed pretty well, I thought. Uh, so obviously, maybe lacking a bit of experience at, at top level, but I thought I, if anyone was winning that fight, it was Big Freeze for me anyway. And I think I think we've seen Wardley's level now. I think I, I before the fight I picked Wardley to beat him, but uh, I just thought Wardley had more about him at that point. But you think uh, Wardley is like another Anthony Yard? Is only going to go so far? Right. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But I think both of them. I mean, they're saying Dillian White's number eight. I I'd beat both of them to beat Dillian White. Would you? Right now, right? I would say. Mm. Is um, he still doing it, or do you just see him hanging around for a few quid like a bad smell? Yeah, so he's he's going to be hanging about for money, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Mm. I don't think he's interested in anything else, is he? No, it's uh, what about Tunde Ajayi? Dream it, believe it, become it. Lions in the camp, <laughs> uh, uh, brick top, the part of company, aren't they? Ah, right, is that what so I do with uh, Anthony Yarden? Mm. Yeah, Bricktop said he's been getting badly advised, didn't he? That's what... Yeah, Bricktop will take that to court, won't he, Bricktop? You know what he's like, don't you? He'll bankrupt him. <laughs> well, he did Ricky Burns, didn't he? He's on Skid Row, isn't he? Yeah. Ah, that's a shame, that. Shocking, eh? Mm. Three-time world, three-weight world champion. I know, yeah. Bad, eh? It's real bad. Uh, Josh won it and Lee Wood. Is it going to happen? I think it's. Uh, I think it should happen. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's probably the best fight for the both of them, isn't it? Yeah. At the moment. What did you think to the interview with Joe Gallagher, where he turned around and says that it's not going to happen unless they come with King's ransom, Terry Harper and Tasha Jonas? Ah, right. Uh... Aye, I like Joe Joy, uh, Joe Gallagher. Eh? He's a straight shooter, isn't he? Yeah, he's uh, you know, he's six a.m. man till midnight boxing every day. Aye, that's hard going. That. Yeah, that's... he's got. A he's lot totally a mess, isn't he? Got a lot on his plate, on the Annie. Oh, aye, aye. He must be good with time management. Eh? Well, he's he's done well for them Smiths. They don't look bad on it, do they? They're all... Paul Smith's got a big derby on him, and he looks like he's eating well. <laughs> yeah, Lawrence Sicoli is a big guy, isn't he? I've seen him standing next to you. Yeah, he, uh, when he walked in, I thought, what's he stood on? <laughs> you know what? He's actually one of the nicest kids. He's very well spoken, and you can see he's, he's got manners and that. You couldn't imagine him. You know, when I were a young man, obviously Sunday dinner times, all the war at my dinner table, the forks flying about, knives and forks, you know, heads, <laughs> heads going in dinners, usually for some I <laughs> He strikes me as somebody who'll sit at dinner table and, you know, speak when he's spoken to, whereas me, I was like, boom town rat, wasn't I? But no mash tatties in his face, eh? You know what? <laughs> mash tatties in his face. Oh, <laughs> But Josh Warrington's like, not fought since... Uh, October against uh, Lee Wood. He's six and a half month out at ring, and he's got no lined up. I'm starting to wonder now if that fa that fight's just slipping away from uh, Warrington now. They need to get a move on with that if it's going to happen. Eh? Otherwise, he'd maybe as well retire now. Well, he's coming up 34 now, Warrington, and you know for that for that weight, it's quite old, isn't it? That old for a small fighter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Unless you're Manny Pacquiao. He's a kind of freak of nature, isn't he? He's uh, he's one of the very few small guys that you've seen fighting for as long as he has. Eh? What do you think to that Ben Whitaker, Andy? Uh, he doesn't seem to carry a lot of power. Eh? Time will tell how he gets on going forward. But um, uh, he's got skills in that, hasn't he? And he's, he's got a bit of media profile, hasn't he? So he might find he'll make himself a bit of money, eh? 
will he win a world title? But I don't think yet. He's, he's no he's no ready to go in with Dan Aziz or uh, who else was he shouting now? He was shouting somebody else out, wasn't he? Joshua Buatsi. He's not ready to go in with any of them yet. But, I like um, to see Yard and Ben Whitaker, but Yard's team don't seem to be keen on it, do they? Right. Um, I, that may be a maybe a wee bit early for him, though. I don't know. Do you know. think you think Yard is going to be skybound, Andy? Because it's the only game left in town for him now, isn't it? Because he's not yeah. to Eddie Hills because Eddie and Frank are in bed together at the moment, are they? So he's not Eddie's and Eddie's not going to want to rock the boat. I only see him going to boxer and Ben Shalom, do you? Yeah, Eddie and Frank are now one. Yeah, at the moment, friends. <laughs> They're friends, aren't they? Now, did you see them playing Jenga? <laughs> 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 so, right, then I'm going to get off, mate, because I went. I was up at four this morning, and it's like quarter past eleven at night. And I'm sure you're in your bed. I'm in early tomorrow, half six starts. Okie dokie. All right, then. Well, listen, you take care, Andy. Thanks for coming on, and I hope you're you do, right. mate. I'm all right. She's getting there, aye. Right, so she's getting moved to uh, looking to get a nursing home sometime soon. So, all right, so that'll be that's a good a step in the right direction. So. Yeah, you know, it's better than going to hospital every day, isn't it? It's better than stuck in there, right? So, but she's been well looked after there, eh? Can't can't criticize, we can't criticize anything about that. She's had brilliant care. We're quite lucky with NHS up here, eh? It's, I hear some horror stories down your way. Right, right? Well, it's uh, I've, I, uh, I've got a friend in Midlands, and she went to uh, hospital with her mum, and they were there thirteen hours or something. A and E waiting, and I've got some friends in Rotherham who've been. It's a nightmare, you know. You can't complain now till ten hours, don't you? It used to be four, didn't it? You can't complain till ten hours. So if if you don't see anybody for like nine hours, you can't say a word. They can't no. deal with you. Uh, and it's, it's, over, it's overrun, isn't it? It's overrun now, and I see it collapsing any day. These idiots running the country, they just run in the ground there. Just Rishi Sunak, Prime Minister. Who's that other lunatic who's mayor? Sadik Khan. Oh, I get what, 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 who are these people? What, what, I don't recognise them. Get them all jailed. Get them like Boris Johnson and I. They should be jailed for what they've done, eh? Again, that. Listen, mate, they've all filled the pockets, filled the boats, and they're leaving it to everybody else, aren't they? That's one of the Tories. Uh, I've seen a thing, I can't remember his name, but he's, he's got five... Five different jobs as well as being an MP. How can he represent his constituents if he's got five different jobs? He's getting about half a million for doing these five part-time jobs. Absolute scandal, eh? Do you know them lords who sit in the House of Lords, right? They get £300 a day. They only bother got to go sign the name, go in, get a cup of coffee, have five minutes, walk back out, 300 quid. They're turning up every day to see the pals for a cup of coffee and getting £1,500 a week in the House of Lords. Yeah. It's an old boys' club, mate, and it wants... Smashing up from inside, yeah. And they're, un and they're unelected, eh? nobody elects them, they get put in by their mates. Eh? I was talking yeah. to a friend of mine who was a window fitter actually, and he was going through London and he said he saw that Penny Mordant. She, oh. was, she, she was crossing road near Westminster, she felt like running her over. <laughs> you should have done the <laughs> <laughs> one less Tory to worry about, wasn't it? That's it. I mean, oh. there's a guy up, there's a guy up here, up where we are, it's either. SMP or Tories that get in, so it's, it's quite close, you know. Yeah. Uh, and it was a, I think it was about three recounts, but the SMP guy, uh, Pete Wisher, got in just. But the guy that stood against him, he got put in the House of Lords. Eh? It was like reward for failure. Eh? Can I, he failed to get elected, but he got put in the House of Lords. That's an absolute scandal. Eh? Shocking. Years, all they're doing is scratching each other's back. Mm. That's all it is. Yeah. Oh, what needs reformed, eh? Well, I think I've said it before. Move, build a new uh, parliament building them like say, Manchester or Birmingham or somewhere. Get away from London. Everyone's too London centric. Build a big travel lodge. There's your accommodation. We can't our... say, Andy, what we really want to say on here. About yeah. But I know what I want to say. So. Yeah. I know, All it's right. a sham. Take... Okay, mate, you take care. Oh. Bye bye. All the best, pal. Cheers. Take care. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. I'm off for some shut eye. I will see you all on Wednesday when Kent returns. All right. 
Well, peace out. Thanks for liking and subscribing.